going on everybody? We got another video today. We're gonna to be talking about remote tuning. Remote tuning is becoming extremely popular over the last couple of years, and Ecutech has made some changes to their software structure. So the remote tuning process is a little bit different now. Uh, we did have an older video that involved how to do a remote tune with your laptop, but now we're gonna be talking about remote tuning with your phone. So Ecutech's new software, um, the phone flash feature, is allows you to upload data logs to the cloud from your car and then also upload tuning uh, files from the cloud to your vehicle. So we have our Ecutech dongle with us today. Um, I'm coming a little closer. This is what you can pretty much expect to receive. An admin tuning Ecutech uh, OBD dongle right here. And um, we're gonna show you how to use it, how to set up an Ecutech account, uh, how to set it up with your phone and how to submit uh, information to the tuner so he can make you the tune. And then once we do that, we'll go down the street. Um, we're taking my 370Z this time. Um, we'll show you how to collect data logs and uh, submit the data logs to the tuner for revisions. So let's, uh, let's get started. First, we're gonna set up your Ecutech account and submit the vehicle info to the tuner. Got the dongle right here. I'm gonna put it in the OBD port. All right, I got my phone. So you have to download the Ecutech app from the App Store first. We already did that. It's called ECU Connect. I'm going to open it up. You're going to click on the settings icon. It's a little gear right here. And then you're going to go to vehicle interface. Excuse me. Make sure your Bluetooth is turned on first. So mine is. Click add remove. All these newer devices are going to be the BTLE device. So you select that. Then you click add. So it picks it up. Now you back out of it. Then we're going to go to Ecutech account not logged in. So I'm going to create an account real quick. Pretty uh, self-explanatory. Got to agree to the terms and conditions. All right. So that's been done. I selected the tuner as admin tuning before. So when you're not, when you're doing this, you just click tuner, admin tuning, and then you back out of it. So after that, click my car, it'll connect to the car. Now you're going to set a passcode. This can be whatever you want it to be. All right. So now we have the main screen for the tuning. So you're gonna have less options if your car's never been tuned before, but don't worry about that. You're gonna click program ECU. Then you're gonna click send vehicle info to tuner. It automatically pulls the VIN. You just select the make and the model. And then you click send to the tuner, send to admin tuning. Boom, information was sent correctly. So now, I'm going to get an email saying that you uh, submitted your vehicle info. We'll already have your mod list. And then um, after that, we can create the files. All right. So this is what's going to, what I'm going to do on, from my point of view. So I'm going to upload a tune to the cloud real quick for your car. All right, I already made the tune. I'm gonna upload it. All right, so after it's uploaded to the cloud, you're gonna receive an email with specific instructions on what to do. Usually I ask for a log um, of the car idling, driving normally, um, gently accelerating up through fourth gear with like a little bit of load and then a full throttle third gear pull. These are very specific to the car and the customer. So just watch your email and follow those instructions specifically. However, um, or on top of that, I also usually ask for a couple of custom maps parameters to be checked and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So let's go back to the phone. So now we're going to click my car again. I 
and then click program ECU and click engine. So now you see the file is there. So I'm gonna upload it. It's gonna say before proceeding, ignition on, engine not running, handbrake, doors, lights are off, AC is off, so on and so forth. So these are all um, critical and do not switch apps during the programming sequence either. It's gonna ask you for a communication test, so just do that. Also another thing, <clears throat> make sure your phone battery is over 20%. So mine's kind of close, but like charge your phone before you go out there and do this. We do our tuning based on appointment only most of the time. So just make sure your phone's charged before your appointment, uh, your tuning appointment starts because um, it will cut off the flash if you uh, ha are below 20%. All right, so then it's gonna say everything is working as expected. Proceed with programming the ECU, hit continue, hit program. And this is gonna take longer for a car that's never been tuned before, but if you already have Accutech on there, it shouldn't take too long. But this is a lot easier than using the laptop, um, a lot more convenient, and uh, it, there's just a considerable amount of value with being able to do it this way. All right, key off. Key on. All right, and this is programming completed successfully. Close out of it. We're gonna fire the car up real quick. All right, so this is the data logging process now. So you click on my car. Click on data logging. So this is the part that I usually have customers get confused on. So for to add custom channels, I'll usually ask for a couple custom channels. You'll see them on mine already, but you just hit the gear icon. It's alphabetical, so you just go to C, and then these custom map boxes, depending on what you get in your email for instructions, you're gonna wanna check like one or two of these. Um, but yeah, that's specific to the customer, so don't overthink that part. After that, you hit start. And then we just go down the street. We're gonna do a couple basic logs. Right now I'm data logging the car idling. And it just runs like that. But this is gonna be like a basic driving log that I would suggest from, or I would ask for like from a typical customer or the typical um, 370Z or G37. And then um, depending on the driving and the vehicle itself and whatever is going on on the tuning side, um, I'll ask for more data, or I can provide a finalized revision. Uh, for most cars that have like basic mods, usually like one or two revisions is all it takes. But obviously for stuff that has power adder, nitrous, turbo, supercharged, there's gonna be a little bit more to it since there's other uh, strategies involved. So um, usually we'll drive the car, give it a little bit of load to check fuel trims and stuff like that as RPMs increase. And then we'll do like a full throttle, like a little full throttle pull just to kind of feel it out. So like driving the car through the gears normally, shifting at like 4,000 RPM, light to medium throttle, like that. And then just doing that through the gears, going into fourth gear so you can get some speed and then kind of doing a gentle sweep upward. checks out we'll just do like a full throttle hit I'm gonna start in second I usually ask for a third but we'll start in second this time back two steps we're gonna click on my files data logs you see the one most recent here 
So then you're going to hit the share button and then click send to admin tuning. And just, you know, basically say, you could say anything or nothing. Data log for revision one. Sending file. File sent. And then I'm going to get the email for the data log. I'm going to adjust the tune based on my findings. And then after that, um, I'll be emailing you back and uploading it and the process will be repeated until the tune is finalized. So that concludes our video. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions, let me know.